ラン氏は選挙期間中、日米同盟不要論や PPP 離脱論など、それが実現すれば、既存のアジア太平洋地域秩序を根底から揺るがしかねない発言を重ねてきましたが、トランプ政権下の米,米国が、今後いかなる対外政策を示すのかさらにはそれを受けて今後のこの地域のパワーバランスはどのようなものとなるのかについてはあらゆる予断を許さない状況にあります Over the years, the National Committee has stayed true to this mission and carried out dialogue between experts and at times officials in their personal capacities on a range of issues. The aim of these track two and track one and a half exchanges is to facilitate dialogue that is often difficult to achieve at the official level. However, it's also true that US, China, Japan being the three largest economies in the world, the important countries in the region and the world, they do have tremendous and unshakable responsibilities in cooperating for the preservation of peace, stability, and development in the Asia Pacific. They also have important convergence of national interests in common global challenges facing the world. So it's of vital importance for the regional stability and the prosperity that the three key countries keep a healthy and stable bilateral relations and trilateral relations. Uh, 観点から見れば、えー、やはり、えー、東アジアの多くの国々が、えー、経済発展を遂げている中でとりわけ、えー、中国が、えー、経済発展を遂げているということが、えー、注目、えー、されますでそれ自体は、えー、東アジアの経済的相互依存を深めるということによって、えー、相互の繁栄に、えー、つながっておりますけれども、えー、その経済発展とともに中国における、えー、軍事面での近代化というのが、えー、大変な勢いで、えー、進んでいるそういう状況の中で、えーえー、日米中を代表する、えー、センクタンクから、えー、代表的な、えー、論客に、えー、集まっていただいて、えー、今日議論できるのは大変、えー、幸いなことだと思います。Uh, one of the most important challenges will be how to deal with China. Uh, and the emerging strategic rivalry that we see between the United States and China on the one hand versus the need to develop a relationship of cooperation with China on the other. There is a perception uh, that there is a lack of clarity about China's intentions. Uh, there is a belief in some quarters that China seeks to replace the United States as the dominant actor in the region. えー、と事実上の、まあ、無視ですね、無視政策を継続したオバマ政権とは異なり、まあ、どこかナイーブな対応に出る可能性もあるかと思います。でトランプ氏新,新政権の優先的課題、これは中東における IS 対策にある可能性が高いわけで、まあ、それとの関係において、朝鮮半島問題や北朝鮮問題に対して、まあ、必ずしも、China advocates and kind of regional cooperation and security cooperation are two wheels for regional cooperation which must be advanced in parallel. The regional security architecture China envisions has the following feature. It should be led by Asia security concept, which is featuring common, comprehensive, cooperative, and sustainable、uh, security. It should be built on international law, rules and laws, and it should be supported with various partnerships. And finally, it should be aimed at for uh, uh, continued prosperity and peace and development of the region as a whole. Within a few years, China's Navy is going to be a very powerful force. Indeed, it already is. The United States simply cannot maintain. The type of dominance that we had when China was weak militarily. And this is going to fuel 
a regional arms race if we can't cooperate. When I worked in the Soviet Union, we spent billions of dollars building up our missile forces, putting MIRV warheads on them. We ran out of warheads, and then we reached agreement to take the MIRVs off of the missiles and to reduce the number of missiles we had. <coughs> How much money was wasted in that process? Are we, uh, the United States, China, and Japan, going to repeat that cycle? So, theトランプ政権が本格的に新しい防衛政策に向かって動き始める前つまりは来年のエーペックのサミットで安倍総理習近平主席そして新しいトランプ大統領3人がエーペックの首脳会談の機会にとりあえず短い時間でも結構なので3人